Today we're going to put some strength back in the front of this Falcon that I removed when I installed the Mustang 2 suspension. We're going to use this tubing bender and some 1 and 3 quarter inch tube and we're going to get after it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right guys, so one of the issues with the Mustang 2 front suspension is that when you install this, you remove all the shock towers. The shock towers served a couple purposes. Number one, it uh, took the suspension load, but um, also it took the suspension load only not only vertically, but it transferred it into the firewall. So it kind of triangulated that and spread that load out. When you put Mustang 2 front suspension in there, all that's gone. You know, a lot of people will say it's not a big deal because all the weight of the engine is now on top of the cross members. And uh, that's, that's true, but you still do have a lot of weight forward of the firewall that is unsupported. So in an attempt to put some of that back in, uh, you can see uh, over here, I've already done this side here, but we're gonna, I'm gonna do some, some time warping and you're gonna go back in time and, and see it because uh, I forgot to film the opener. Anyways, um, we're, we're gonna build some support in and we're gonna tie this front frame rail from here back into the cowl up in there. And you're going to see how we're going to do that. So now we're, we're taking some of that support or some of that um, that weight, and we're transferring it back, just just how Ford had designed it originally to have that load transferred back into the cowl and the uh, the firewall area. Okay, guys. What we need to do now is we need to um, I need to build a plate that uh, kind of stands off in this area, kind of box this little area in here. So when I tie in this um, tube, it ties into to structure here. Because right now, if I just spot welded it here and up in here, it wouldn't wouldn't tie in too tight. So that's the plan now: is just to box this area in, and then uh, we'll work on welding the pipe into the cowl. Here's a closer look at what I came up with. This goes all the way to the back of the apron here, and this ties into the core support here. And this will all be made like probably with 16 gauge, maybe a little thicker. So it'll be no thinner for sure than the than the cowl already is. So okay, it's all welded in. Box it plated up here, primer so it doesn't uh, rust. And I made a template for that slit and line it up and put it in the same spot as that side. So that one should be symmetrical with the other side. So let's uh, let's get the other side cut out and uh, bend up some pipe. Okay, so I've got the initial bend done here. Uh, I copied the other side and it worked out well. It's about 54 degrees. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tool. This is a contour gauge, a 3D printed contour gauge. Uh, the file for this is on Thingiverse and they come in a bunch of different sizes. And this is just a 1 16th welding rod. There's a rubber band here. Kind of gives everything tension so you can uh, place it around. Well, I'll just show you how it works. Um, what we need to do is we need to find out what the, uh, what the, uh, the contour on the face of this is gonna be. So what we'll do is, let me grab a marker. 
and we'll just make, we have a reference line on here already. We'll make a reference line on the tubing. We'll just make it, we'll make it the seam of the tube. And we'll install this. I know that I want it about right there. Actually, it looks like to e even before I can do this, uh, I have to cut this part off because it's not allowing me to uh, to get in there the way I need to. Let me see if I can sneak over here. to cut that off first. All right. Okay, I got it trimmed up now and I got the pipe uh, laid roughly where, where I need it. And I have the contour gauge placed against it with my reference line marked up, uh, or matched up I should say. And all the uh, needles are conforming to the shape there. So that, that's about it. So now we'll pull it off, we'll make our measurements and we'll transfer the shape from the contour gauge onto the pipe. Okay, I've got the lines lined up and the, uh, the outline here transferred onto my pipe. Basically I just brought it back. So it is back far enough that I can get good purchase all the way around and then I just follow the contour there. You want water, buddy? Okay, we'll get you some water. So just like that. And now you've got your, uh, your contour transferred onto your tube. Boom, we got both sides in. Uh, well, you guys went bent and mocked up anyways. The measurements are pretty, pretty much in line with, with that. Uh, I'm gonna do one more final measurement from the inside of the radius here to the frame rail. Make sure it matches that side but um where they're coming through like let's zoom in here where they're coming through the opening on the apron on either side looks about the same next thing i got to do is you can see this side is just coming through the apron here so i need to measure up uh, how far up i want to bring this one before i make that initial bend in back towards the firewall because uh, i got to kind of tuck it in all the way up here i'm going to reference the other side because i'm happy with the way that one came out so I need to figure out how to measure where this bend is happening and then this one. Uh, it, it took like most of my brain power to get this to work. So if I can make it happen again for the other side, I'll be pretty impressed. So we are moving in the right direction. Just going to make some more measurements and get the other side bent up so it matches. We're getting there. Well, we got it. Both sides in and everything looks good. Now what I need to do before I do anything else is clean this garage. It is blown apart. I've got crap all over the floor, tools everywhere. Uh, now that I can think about other things, I can go ahead and clean it up. So anyway, so boxing plate on this side came together and the tube's nice and bent. One thing I did notice is the geometry on this bend is slightly off from what it is on the other side. This one kind of hugs nice and tight. If you come over here and look at it, this one drops down a little bit and then comes up. But uh, you know what? That doesn't matter. It's all done. All right, guys, we did it. We got the front down tubes, uh, frame supports fabbed and welded up. Uh, that should add a lot of rigidity back to the car. Um, from what we removed with uh, taking the Mustang 2 suspension or taking the stock suspension out and adding the Mustang 2 suspension It should have plenty of support now. So uh, thanks for sticking around and watching this next thing up probably clean and prep and paint engine compartment And then it's gonna all start going back together. So brakes and steering and things like that. So check that out uh, coming soon. Thanks guys. See ya mm -hmm.